what's going on everybody jake the happy snake here and welcome back to jake wants to be a millionaire yesterday was absolutely amazing and incredibly shocking i achieved something yesterday that i did not think i was going to achieve when i started recording yesterday's episode i answered all 15 questions correctly and won a million pounds i did not expect that to happen because before yesterday's episode i hadn't even won a half million pounds the most i had won before yesterday's episode was two hundred fifty thousand pounds and so i i was not expecting to go all the way up to like to, to, to i was not expecting to win a, to win the million pounds like that that was such a shocker i i went into the half million pound question with two lifelines left i still have the phone in front and the 50 50 which I got very, very lucky to make it that far with still two lifelines left. And I used the 50-50 on the half million pound question and I got it right. So then I went into the million pound question with the phone a friend. And I had an instinct on the million pound question, but I wasn't sure. I phoned a friend. I was like, I was pretty certain that the phone a friend was not going to help me because it was the, it was for a million pounds. I wasn't expecting the phone a friend to actually give me the, the right answer. And they did. They actually knew the correct answer. So I debated whether or not to go for it for quite a few minutes. And then I finally decided, you know, I'm just going to go for it. I think I I think I knew all along that I was going to go for it. But it's still, you know, risking 468,000 pounds is still a lot to risk. So, yeah, I went for it and I, and I was right. So I basically won the million pounds thanks to the phone a friend. The phone a friend, they were the sole reason uh, as to why I was able to win that. Because if it wasn't for them, I, I would have won a half million. I would have walked with the 500,000. So I got very, very lucky yesterday, and I mean, I still can't believe it. I really cannot believe it. And that, that I wanted to make up for what happened on Wednesday. I wanted, I even said at the beginning of yesterday's episode, I want to, you know, I'd be nice to win at least a quarter million pounds to make up for what happened, you know, on Wednesday. And when I won a quarter million, I'm like, wow, I've done what I wanted to do, but not even that, I still have two lifelines left. And then I won a half million. And then I won a million, and I'm like, wow, this is literally four times better than I, than what I was hoping to do. So, yeah, yesterday was incredible. And not only that, it's the first time in the entire series that I've won the top prize while, like, almost peed in my pants. Like, I really, re I drank a lot of water because it was a long episode, and I was just, I was talking a lot, and, uh, you know, and so I was drinking a lot of water, and then I really had to use the bathroom. So as soon as I won the million, I paused the recording, went to the washroom, came back, and then did my outro. So... Yeah, yesterday was really, it, it was an amazing episode. It was the 14th top prize win of the series. So, and the first one of um, of the British Game Boy Advance version of Millionaire. So, there we go. Yeah, 1 million pounds is what I won yesterday. That was converted to a million dollars. And that brought my overall total to $65,509,942. So... With that three-minute intro out of the way, let's get started with today's game. It has been just a wild week, you know, losing 218,000 pounds on Wednesday and then winning a million pounds yesterday. I have no idea what's going to happen today. Here we go for 100 pounds. Complete the name of the famous U.S. horse race, the Kentucky Derby. So, D. All right, 100 pounds. Here we go for 200. Who is not a patron saint of a country of the United Kingdom? That would be St. Gregory D. Alright, 200 pounds. Here we go now for 300. From which country does Beaujolais wine come? That would be France. Beaujolais. Beaujolais? Jealous? I don't know. Anyways, 300 pounds. Here we go now for 500. Which is a World Heritage Site on the north coast of, of Northern Ireland. I'm not sure. You know what? This is kind of embarrassing after my big win yesterday, but I'm going to ask the audience because I'm actually not sure. My guess is B, Cyclops' walk, but... I'm not only sure about that. 65% say A. Which one was A? It was Giant Co Giant's Causeway. Okay, I'll make that my final answer. I honestly did not know that I was going to go with B. So I made the right call to ask the audience, but I really don't like using a lifeline on the f one of the first five. All right, here we go for a thousand pounds. If you ordered... 
calzone in a restaurant, you would be eating pizza. There we go. Okay. Good. So, I have never won the top prize two episodes in a row. I've come very close twice, but I've never actually done it. And I'm going to try, I'm going to do everything in my power to make that happen today. So, here we go. Here's the 2,000 pound question. The name, the name foils is synonymous with what type of shop? Book. <clears throat> Okay, 2,000 pounds. All right. Here we go for 4,000 pounds. <clears throat> what broke out at Thomas Farriner's Bakehouse in London, September 1666? Great fire. Perfect. 4,000 pounds. All right. Now let's go for 8,000. Here we go. What word is used to measure of a, br of a star's brightness? I know this magnitude. I know this 100%. I don't know if I've seen this question before, but I, I can't remember if I... I honestly don't, don't remember having it before, but I know for a fact it's magnitude because I learned about this in my astronomy course. So it is C, magnitude, final answer. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, made a little bit of a comeback after having to use a lifeline on the fourth question. I've answered the last four without having to use another lifeline, so that's good. All right, here we go for 16,000 pounds. How is Schubert's Symphony Number no. 8 also known? I'm not sure. New World, maybe? I'm going to, uh... Yeah, this, this kind of brings back haunting memories of of the of the thousandth episode actually um let's phone a friend because i'm not 100 percent sure on this <clears throat> let's see what does a phone a friend think unfinished okay final answer d so sixteen thousand. We're six questions away from my second consecutive million dollars. It's gonna be hard, but I'm going to, like, honestly, I might, I might just start doing some, making some, some, like, wild moves. Seriously, I, I, I might just start going crazy, because I really want to get the million twice in a row. Which country was formerly known as Belgian Congo? I think it's A. So I'm just gonna go with A, final answer. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good. 32,000 pounds. Still have the 50-50. So, yesterday I got through quite a few in a row without having to use my second lifeline. I got through the 11th level, the 12th level, the 13th level without having to use the lifeline. So let's see if I can do that again today. Here we go for 64,000 pounds. In a Thorian legend, which knight had a love affair with Queen Genevieve? Uh... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Lancelot. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to go with it. It might be Galahad. Yes! Yes! Okay, good. Very good. 64,000. <clears throat> Four away now for my second consecutive million pound win. Here we go for 125,000 pounds. Still have the 50-50. The house of which artist is now a museum in... in Giovanni, Normandy. Um, crap. I don't know this. Mm, 
I'm going to have to use my 50-50. Renoir, maybe? Ugh! The only one of these artists I haven't heard of is C. So, looks like I'm going to be putting my my faith in the 50-50. Renoir, final answer. Oh, man! wrong one i mean i guess not always i picked the right one yesterday on the 14th question um that's still frustrating all right well thirty-two thousand pounds is what i win today it's converted to thirty-two thousand dollars and that brings my overall my over that brings my overall total to sixty five million five hundred and forty one thousand nine hundred and forty two dollars. That's it for that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all back here on Monday. Hope you all have an awesome weekend. Thanks guys for watching. Peace out.